What is going on everybody? My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down the hot trading stocks to put you at an advantage on the market. You loyal. So today's ticker symbol that we're breaking down is TSLA or better known as Tesla. I have my graphs already set to make this a little bit smoother for you guys. I will explain how I found those lines and uh, to further predict on this analysis. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, guys, is start at a higher time frame. We always wanna start at a higher time frame so we can see the overall direction and picture of our stock. If we do not do this, we'll be trading in a vacuum and basically trading blindly. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. Uh, so this is why we start from a higher time frame so we can see the overall direction and picture. Once we have that information, then we start from, uh, I'm sorry, we find our support and our resistance lines to further predict on where this stock is headed. So as of right now, uh, I am on the daily time frame. This is perfect if you are a day trader or swing trader. And then obviously if you're a scalp trader, um, you're gonna start at the, day, the daily time frame figure out the direction that your stock's in, and then overall break down to a smaller time frame to predict or, or find a better entry. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna be looking at is our support line. Our first major support line in the channel that we're in is in this area. This is the channel that we're in. We're in between our resistance and our support lines down here. They're fairly easy to see. Uh, for most other stocks, sometimes they're not as clear and you have to do a little bit more due diligence by you know going back further in time um, to get more information. So as of right now, let's start with our, let's just start with the resistance line. So we came down from down here from 400 guys and we were pumping and pumping and pumping all the way up into our major resistance lines. As you can see that it came up first right here, rejected, consolidated, retried to create a breakout, ended up hitting it and ultimately failed, tried again, well, did it about three or four times, guys, and ultimately got fully rejected. So if you knew how to read these these charts and you first seen this get tested and rejected the second time, uh, more than likely you would have got up. You would have known that this is a heavy resistance area and so far it's it's testing and failing. So this would have been um, you know a perfect example to show you that just right here, we had a huge red flag showing that we were having trouble breaking past this area. And this is what ultimately happened. It tested about four or five times and then fully just rejected all the way down to our major support level, which is also pretty clear that you can see if we zoom in, uh, the candlestick where we're at right now, we're actually dead on support right now, guys. If we look to our left, we have candlesticks hitting one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 15 times in this area where either on the support side that has bounced and reversed or on the opposite side, which is down here, it's it ultimately was working as a resistance before it broke through this resistance. And you see how it once it broke through this resistance, it came up, retested our level, which a lot of times when you have a breakout, it'll come up a uh, small short squeeze and then come back down and retest that same area for the, the floor before creating a reversal or a trend. So, um, that's ultimately what it did right here. It created a breakout, came back down, retested our floor, our support level, and then ultimately ripped up to our resistance level right now. So currently where we're at, we see that we are on our major uh, support level. So what we're looking for is this to bounce up and hit our next previous minor resistance area that has been tested, which would be in the $700 area before it uh, continues its uh, higher trend if it does so. So as of right now, uh, since we are on this support, I would consider this a good buy uh, because we're on such a level that has been tested multiple times. Obviously, you'd get in right now, have your, sub your stop loss or if you our uh, swing trading, you do a manual stop loss, obviously below our resistance line, which is you know between the 560 and the 580 area is where you'd want to keep an eye on it because, because if it does break below this level, then we're obviously continuing our downtrend guys and then you know ultimately headed towards our next level of major support, which we can test, which uh, I'll zoom out again. And that is in the $460 area. If we look around in this area, obviously this is pretty clear that you can see that it came up rejected, came up rejected, blah, blah, blah. And so this is a nice floor that we have. Obviously on this side, it's a roof. 
but obviously if it comes down and touches this level it would be a floor so this if it does continue with downtrend if you're waiting for a further confirmation before getting into this um which would be the smart idea um would be down in here in this 450 dollar area 460 dollar area um and then you know waiting for a reversal there uh so as of right now we are in a clear downtrend right here i had this marked out so to show our clear downtrend it came up broke through this level and did create a higher higher low which is technically a good sign also on support which is all backed up um, on my trading plan to show that this is a this is a good buy so as of right now i would say that this is a good buy even though the overall market is down um this is you know even though it has smooth retracement what we're looking for is the smooth retracement back up to our previous target so as for your trading plan if you were to get in right now your first target should be in this 680 or 700 dollar area you don't want to have it all the way back up here in this 900 dollar area you want to take profits maybe right down here if you're getting in now because for this to get all the way back up here this could take you know uh months or even weeks so this is more of like a swing trade or day trader you obviously get it now uh set your target for the 680 700 area and then that being it but other than that guys i just wanted to make this quick video on my opinion on uh the current area that we're at if you guys enjoy these videos um leave a comment below on the stock that you want me to check out guys uh just make sure to like and subscribe it means a lot to me you guys and i hope you guys have a beautiful day